We would like to welcome everyone tonight to our Central Magnet School Informational Night for Prospective Students. This will be our first attempt to do it virtually, but we are excited about a new year and a new group of students applying. Our application deadline, which we will mention again and again, is December 1st through January 31st. And hopefully we will give you all the information you need, but there will be a time afterwards to ask questions. Central's had uh, a very exciting few years. We were named a National Blue Ribbon School of Excellence this past year. Uh, we're extremely excited about that, to be recognized as one of the best schools in the country. Uh, we were 13th in the nation uh, by U.S. News & World Report, finishing up last year with fifth. So it has been a great year. Our mission is to provide students with a rigorous educational program. And we feel like we do that. Our test scores and other results back that up. We feel that we have the finest school environment in Rutherford County. Uh, we always put the needs of our student first. We do feel that we're a college preparatory educational program. Uh, we are a STEM school, and we are recognized and certified as a STEM school. But we feel more than that, uh, we want to prepare every child, and we want to make every child welcome. Uh, whether their first priority is math and science or not. Uh, we do challenge students to their fullest of, of their ability. Almost every class here is an advanced placement level or an honors class. Uh, we do offer 31 AP courses and that will be mentioned later on as well. Uh, we have a very safe and nurturing environment. Uh, at Central, our students very seldom even feel the need for locks on their lockers. Uh, we don't have things stolen. We certainly don't have any violence or anything like that. Uh, we do feel that it is a great learning environment. And I'm asked uh, probably the most common question is what makes C Central different from other schools? Well, that's easy. It's our students. Our students come from all areas of Rutherford County. Uh, they represent the best in the county and we feel the best in the nation. They're extremely highly motivated uh, they have a sense of service to one's home community. They accept excellence as a way of life. Uh, they want to be good in everything they do, and we hopefully uh, foster that feeling. Uh, our students truly have expectations of greatness. Last year's ACT score actually ended up being a 31.2. Uh, we're very excited about that. Uh, that's probably 94th percentile or so in the nation. So the average student at Central would be in the top 6% in the country. Last year's seniors had a little over 60,000 in accepted scholarships. Uh, that is not offered, that's accepted. So we're very proud of that and our parents who saved $60,000 are very proud of that as well. Each student here will do a senior thesis. It is a year-long research project. Uh, that we help them with, as well as a mentor in their field. Our goal during that is that they find out something about the field they want to major in, and in some cases they find that's not for them, and that's certainly okay. It also presents them an opportunity to do research and present uh, their work. We've had several published. Uh, we've had several present at different conferences. Uh, one of the things students that come back to Central tell me is that the thesis was the, one of the best things we did because it prepared them so well for their writings in college. As I said, we offer virtually every AP course that uh, we can. Uh, some are offered in alternating years, but uh, we try to offer as many as possible. We also have a dual enrollment set up with MTSU. They're nice enough to send professors to our building. So a student may be in college physics one period with an MTSU professor, and then the next period walk down the hall to uh, senior English or something else. So it is a unique opportunity, and it allows our students to get a little bit ahead as with AP courses. Many of our students start college as almost juniors or even juniors. We have a tremendous guidance department. Uh, they will work with your child from the time they get here all the way through their 12th grade year. Uh, we 
they keep the same guidance counselor throughout high school. That way they develop that relationship. Uh, they meet with a student every year or more if needed. Uh, and they work very hard on college information, uh, getting them applications, getting the right information filled out. And we also have a college coordinator that is unique to Central. Uh, his role is to match students with scholarships. He also helps them uh, find out about colleges, set up visits, whatever's needed. He also will work with them one-on-one -on -one, uh, to try to raise an ACT score if they need to. Uh, this is a great resource for every child and we're very proud of the setup. We do have an advisory advisee program. Uh, they meet once a week. Uh, they will have the same one from the time they get here through, that, to, through their graduation. Uh, they gives them someone else in the building that knows them very well, uh, help write letters of recommendation, uh, keeps them on track on their student on their community service. They chair their student's thesis committee, their senior year. Uh, it's a very personal relationship. Uh, they do get very close. It's a small group, usually 15 or 16 students, and they meet. They not only get a lot of soft skills and things that we just don't have time to cover in class, but a student desperately needs, but they develop a close relationship with that group of kids and that teacher, and uh, most of them stay very close throughout the rest of their life. We feel that we do educate the complete child. We've been extremely successful in our music department. I feel like we have the best uh, band strings, uh, choir, drama, of any, anywhere we have students who have went on to major, uh, Juilliard, uh, Boston Conservatory, uh, several other uh, very highly rated fine arts institutions in the country. So we do uh, feel very strongly about our fine arts department. I encourage you to come out and see them. Uh, we do have a little bit of everything. We uh, are, you know, once again, excited to have this opportunity for our students. We try to have a great many clubs so that uh, students can find something that interests them other than academics. Uh, sometimes it can get a little challenging to only focus on academics. I think the more your child is involved in school, the happier they will be and the more successful they will be. So we really do encourage them to find a club that uh, fits their personality and if they don't find one, they can start one. Our robotics team has been extremely ex uh, successful. Uh, they've been exceptional since we started the school. We offer a great many sports. Uh, so far this year, this year uh, three of our sports out of three have went to their state tournaments. Uh, volleyball finished third in the state. Uh, soccer made the final uh, eight. We are, uh, and then cross country finished 11th girl in the state, girls and boys. Uh, we expect to be good in everything we do, and our sports have backed that up. Uh, virtually all of them have competed for a district championship or won one uh, since we opened. And uh, I encourage you to come out and see these wonderful young people compete in everything they do. This is probably why you tuned in uh, our admission requirements. The first one is the biggest one. You don't have to be a resident to apply, but before the first day of school, your primary residence must be in Rutherford County, Tennessee. Uh, that is non-negotiable. Uh, there are no zone exemptions for a, central, for a magnet school in Rutherford County, so you must live here. You must have at least a 3.0 and a minimum of 80th percentile in two of the areas tested by TCAP each of the last two years. Your child will get points in the following areas, uh, GPA, TCAP testing, and this year, to make up for last year's uh, missed test, we will be administering a test at Central. If your child has two years of uh, standardized testing, uh, they went to a private school, they're from another state, they do not have to take the test administered at Central, but we need two years, otherwise it puts quite a bit of pressure on that one year of test scores for your child. Um, 
We uh, assign points, for example, a 4.0 in a GPA is 40 points. It works its way down. A 99th percentile is 20 points in each area. Uh, if they make 98th, it's 19, and it works its way down. Uh, all that information is put into a spreadsheet. We total the points, uh, sort, and the top students in each area get in. The test, as I mentioned, here are the times. When you complete your application in a few weeks, there will be a place for you to mark which one of these tests you want to take. You will be accepted to whichever one you pick. Uh, I encourage you, the February 11th test can be a problem. That is the last opportunity. By the nature of getting everything finished, we cannot do any testing after February 11th. Uh, we have to, you know, as I said, finish and send out letters. So, I mean, if your child gets quarantined with COVID or has the flu, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. So I don't I encourage you to sign up for February 11th unless that is the only opportunity you have. I would pick one of the earlier ones. And if you, when the time gets here, if you need to change the date or time of your testing, there will be a link on the main webpage where you can log in and change your time and date. You don't necessarily have to call us. Uh, you can just log in, but if you need help with that, give us a call. If you don't have TCAP scores, uh, for example, another state, uh, if you're in any state in America, you're testing each year. Uh, that's federal requirement. So if your school says you didn't, you should have. Uh, if you go to a private school, you probably took a uh, SAT 10, an Iowa, uh, some other standardized test. So uh, you should have those scores. If you don't, you still have time uh, to go to a testing center and get a set of scores. This is always a question. We accept 125 sixth graders each year. Uh, there are 150 seventh graders. We accept at least 25 seventh graders because the 125 sixth graders get to stay. So uh, most years we will have two or three move or decide to go to a traditional school or something like that. So usually we take 26, 27, uh, maybe even a couple more than that. This year was a little strange. Um, Eighth grade, if all 150 students stay in seventh grade, there will be no spots in eighth grade. But as I said, normally we will have one or two. We usually take very, very few eighth graders. Everyone applies for ninth grade. We take 200 ninth graders. Whether they go to Central or somewhere else, they all apply. If you are a Central parent, our guidance will send home one sheet, which will have all of your scores that you need to submit. If all 200 stay throughout high school, we would not take any 10th, 11th, or 12th graders with that class. Normally, we lose a few after ninth grade, uh, so we usually take a few 10th graders. We seldom take a 12th grader, and we usually don't take more than two or three 11th graders. If your child qualifies but is not, uh, for example, in sixth grade, one of the top 125, they will be placed on a waiting list. That is in order of their scores. So if your child was 126, they will be first on the waiting list. The waiting list is only for next school year. If you're not accepted next year at any time, you will need to reapply if you're still interested uh, for the following school year. If you feel that your data does not reflect your child's academic ability, you may appeal. You need to include a letter, and this needs to be with the application, not after you don't get accepted. Uh, you need to explain the extraordinary situation that caused the discrepancy. We seldom take people off appeals, but occasionally there will be something extreme that uh, we have a committee that they t will take into account and doesn't guarantee acceptance, but uh, could make the difference. But once again, an extraordinary situation that causes you not to feel. Saying I had a bad teacher is not an extraordinary situation. Um, you know, it must be something beyond your child's control. As I said, the application process, December 1st, uh, the applications will pop up on the website. 
you are welcome to stop by and pick one up or simply print it off the website. Uh, the deadline this year is February 1st. Uh, the 31st of January is normally our deadline, but that's a Sunday. So to be completely fair, we gave everyone an extra day. We will mail letters. Everyone should get a letter. Uh, normally it's two or three weeks after the application, but we always say by March 1st, um, we will have them in the mail. You will have two weeks after that to say, yes, I'm coming, or no, I don't. Please, if you aren't coming, please reject the placement as soon as possible. You are keeping someone else. If we have someone tell us they don't want to come, my secretary will call uh, the next person on the uh, waiting list and ask them if they want the spot. So please, if you know for sure you're moving because of a job or something else, or you just don't want to come to Central, please tell us as soon as possible so we can move on to the wait list. When you submit your application, you should get an email uh, usually the same day, if not the next day. If you don't get an email within two or three days, please get in touch with us because something has happened. We have some every year that are lost in the mail. So please, if you don't get an email saying we received your uh, materials, call us. Every student that goes to Central uh, High School sign a contract saying you'll take at least four AP courses, you'll take four years of science, uh, you will do your summer reading list, you will do your senior thesis, and you will do 25 hours a year of community service. Middle school, uh, the biggest difference is you'll do 10 years, 10 years, 10 hours of community service each year, but they will sign a contract as well. Uh, this will be in the letter, the acceptance letter, and we ask that you return it as soon as you possibly can. Normally, you return it to our uh, orientation meeting. Uh, unless things change quickly, that will probably be virtual this year. So uh, you will have to drop it by the school. Here's some questions people ask. No, we will have someone standing here um, on uh, December 1st at seven o'clock when I will uh, get here to hand in their application. That is not any better than handing it in the last day. I would not encourage you to wait to the last day. Uh, but whenever you submit it, we process it. I put it in that spreadsheet somewhere about February 2nd. I will, well, no, we have a test after that. Uh, after the last test, I will sort and we will take the top students whenever they submitted their application. Our school hours are eight to three. The, be the door opens at 715. We would really appreciate you having your children picked up by at least 330. The only transportation we offer are shuttle buses. Uh, they do pick up at Laverne Middle, Rock Springs Middle, Smyrna Middle, and Smyrna High School, and they will return your child in the afternoon to that spot. We really do believe excellence is not an expectation, it is a way of life. Our school motto is always my best. We expect students to do their best, whether it's a homework assignment, a basketball practice, a robotics competition, or a band concert. Anything they do, we ask for their best. And we are very proud of that. We're very proud of our students. So if you have any questions, uh, please make sure you log in to the link provided and we will start answering those as quickly as we can. If you don't get the answer you need, uh, please email me, and I will try to answer that question. Thank you.